so um the idea that you've presented um definitely could work with the section 202 um because uh -huh. the section 202 is for low income seniors to buy build renovate rehabilitate or reconstruct a multi-family development for elderly so that's um, five units or more so these units, um, the residents have to stay independent. So they can't share a kitchen. They have to have an independent unit with um, a full kitchen. Uh, they can have a studio or a one bedroom and they will be able to have a service coordinator in the development to help them with assisted living um, duties. But the goal of this is for the residents, the elderly residents, to stay independent. So, yeah, and that's, that's, sorry, that's exactly what these are. These are for uh, active boomers 55 and up, okay. and the services will be available off site, but there will be on site concierge that can help uh, arrange, uh, you know, a nurses or whatever coming in. You know, but these are not retirement homes, they're okay. apartment buildings with enhanced management. Okay. They're active for sure. Okay. So for these elderly units, HUD is defining elderly as 62 years old and older. So the minimum age uh, is for 62 years. So how do yeah, we can do that? You can yeah, do that. We, yeah, we can do that. Right. That, that would be good. So what they're saying is um, you can request up to 10, you can request up to $5 million. This $5 million will only be 10% of your total development costs. What they're highly promoting is that the nonprofit, um, the eligible applicant will um, get low income housing tax credits, whether a 9% or 4%. So the low income housing tax credit, there must be a developer that says that they will buy these tax credits. So these tax credits would have already been approved um, uh, by the uh, agency that is approving them for that state for the low income housing tax credit. You can do, uh, you can fund the other 90% with other, um, funding options like other grants, an investor, um, uh, any other types of uh, funding uh, availability. So the, the uh, up to $5 million will contribute to 10% of the total development costs. They want you to fund the other 90% with other funding options. After the building is brought online, they will contribute up to 75% of the total operating costs every year. And they want you to keep the building um, for designated for the elderly for the next 40 years. That's four zero years.